By the middle of the 21st century, having bled Earth dry, mankind was on the verge of collapse. Then a startling discovery was made. Beneath the sands of the earliest known human civilization, traces of another, even more ancient, but technologically advanced civilization are uncovered. The profound scientific implications of this discovery would... Alright, how's it going? So we're back to more PS3, Sam. Uh, which is pretty much just playing Sam on, like, low quality and with a controller. This is gonna be really annoying. The uh, the weapon switching, I mean. Oh, okay. Nice auto save, Croti. You go so slow when you're indoors. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought. Okay. It's a good thing they're so passive. They're very uh, non-aggressive. I still hear another one walk around. 
Yeah, I actually did. The music kind of drowns out their feet. Get moving, Sam. Come on. So slow. Up, sir. How's it going? These guys have seriously lost their heads. No, this is serious difficulty. Oh, there's no one even back here. I thought there was a clear back here. Not usually. I haven't played on normal in a long time. I usually play on uh, serious difficulty or sometimes on hard difficulty. How do I go resume again? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I haven't played on serious difficulty for a long time. Like, way back when I first played serious game, I played it on normal. Serious. Serious difficulty is what I'm playing this on. There's no Kanum that spawns over here, it's this guy. Oh, for crying out loud. Hey, wait, isn't this place closed off? Did they just remove the fences? That's weird. I'm pretty positive this place is fenced off in the uh, PC version. Oh, I blew myself up. Oops. Well, good thing that PS3 is so nice with autosaves. Ow. 
Hey, where's the lock on? Or did I get it? I guess I did. That's all that's in here? I wish it wasn't just continuously playing. These guys don't even say hello. Alright, everyone gather around. Everyone come here. Alright. Second, grab the those pills. There you go. Get fucking moving, Sam, please. You don't have to go through molasses every single time you're inside a building. save huh that ha it like happens in the middle of fights Wow, they give you machine gun and shotgun ammo for this? It's kind of weird. Ooh, I like a powerful... 
Uh, I, I will go check. Uh, I'm pretty sure the original Serious Sam 3 didn't have, uh, subtitles. Like, I think subtitles, they added that in Fusion, didn't they? Maybe, uh... Yeah, I don't think so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh shit, yeah, you're right. How come subtitles... Subtitles auto means subtitles off? Because I've never seen any subtitles. That's weird. Maybe not that powerful. Ow. Oh damn. I don't have any... Where is she grabbing me from? It says forward, but I don't see anything. you try to kill me, I'm gonna stop calling. Like, I get the point, like, uh, the Witch Bride enemies, like, Crow Team wanted their own version of, like, the Archfile from Doom, but not very well implemented. Damn monkeys that are aggro, that are making the uh, the music start up again. Did I not grab the keys over there? Did I really not do that? Shoot, what's wrong with me? second guys
Man, the fences are so far away. Serious Sam have an unsatisfying super shotgun. What are you talking about? That's a lot of shit and <laughs> a lot of uh, clutter. I thought that guy jumped from here. I thought he jumped from here in Dan. Maybe I just didn't see him? I, I completely did not see him come from there. Kamikaze? There you Is that some slow ass enemy trickle right there? Yes, it does seem that way. Good job, Curtsy.
Oh man, the auto aim is gonna. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> Oh man, big guy's coming in fast. I know some very slight frame drops there, but still good. And, and it was only for like a split second anyways. What are you oh, dropping an autosave right now for? The autosave should have happened when the clear started spawning in. Just like random.
they had more clears to this fight in Fusion, I think they did. Nah, it's just the it's just trickling now. That's classic serious Sam. See what happens when you move in front of my gun. Metropolis clear trickle. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. But it's like after you're done with that complete, like the huge clear wave, after that, then there's just, there's a new wave that spawns. So it's just one clear at a time. What were they thinking? Oh, wait. I forgot. Man, the uh, biomech majors don't even do their death shot in this. Sad. So, yeah, they die and nothing. It's really difficult to notice if the uh, the thing is the uh, attach the C4 to their belly is showing up. Look at that! <laughs> the lighting and the uh, the texturing just really does not show up. Saturation is going to make the lighting brighter. It's too saturated is the problem with uh, the uh, Scrape Jack's gut. sure it does. Yeah, see? Yeah, you can do that. Oh, it doesn't have presets. You're right. It doesn't have the presets. It just has a... Uh... <laughs> wow, look. Oh, wow, look. <laughs> the game looks so much better now. <laughs> no. No, thank you.
Yeah, decal just looks better. I mean, it's clearly, of course, what the devs had in mind. Oh yeah, there's the Harpy. Or the Witch Bride. Oh shit. Oh, are you kidding? This place sucks. Like, the Witch Bride doesn't even try to show up in a place where she can hit you. She spawned on the other side of this wall, it sounds like. Oh, she didn't even fall down. She just uh, disintegrates in midair. through the monkey room to maximize my HP. That I really, I don't need to do that, but... Didn't I, uh, did I kill all the monkeys in my PC playthrough? Or, I mean, the last time I did a Serious Hand 3 playthrough? Yeah, I also gotta maximize my mini gun. Monkeys. Yeah, monkeys are too strong in vanilla, though. Yeah, that's their problem. Yeah. 
in uh in vanilla they take uh four shots to kill and in uh fusion they take 20 or they have 20 hp in fusion which they had 40 hp in uh vanilla so they take four assault rifle shots to kill instead of the two shots that they take in fusion Frickin' Scrapjacks being as strong as a, uh, as a Biomech Major in this game. Oh yeah, didn't it? I think it's, like, supposed to get darker when you get to this point. Make it, yeah, more moody. But there's no, uh, lighting change here. Lighting change too much for the PS3 to handle. Who's next? Uh. Oh my god, you can't. You can't hit them like going forward. The the auto aim is always gonna try to hit them in the center of their body. stuck on that thing for. Why didn't id Software just make the, uh, Cacodemons way more? Why didn't they just simply give them more mass? I could understand Lost Souls. Like, I can understand Lost Souls getting pushed away. As they do. But the, like, Hack Demons and Pain Elementals? Yeah. What a pain.
Man, they give you a uh, 100 plus armor and a uh, super health. Shit. Oh, when, well, when they die, it should just sound like gas. Uh, well, I mean, the pain elemental explodes. The cacodemon should explode as well, then. Where was the other, uh... There was, like, a second secret out here, right? Yeah, okay. It's just because the, uh... Oh, never mind, it's not over here. Is this it? I guess that's it. Okay. Like, uh, another hour. Whoops, that's not Nutrissa. It's like, I know, uh, I have the benefit of, like, not having to aim because of, uh, well, you know, auto-aim for the console, but, uh, they should have made this game harder. Serious Sam 3, too easy. There's got to be a way to make the game more difficult than just having first encounter traps. Awkward gimmick fights. I don't know, like, I'm trying to think, what's a good, difficult fight in Serious Sam? Like, what's a good, difficult fight in a Serious Sam game? Great Pyramid. I wouldn't say Great Pyramid is difficult. <laughs> you can literally just spam cannon and nothing but cannon. You don't need to switch to another weapon. You have infinite ammo. Where's this guy going? Because, I mean, there's a lot of fights in the Serious Sam games that are pretty much a straightaway. It's a straightaway, and dudes are just coming at you through that straightaway. Oh, you know what's a really good straightaway fight? Speaking of straightaways, is, uh... Uh, shit. What's that level? Isn't it the last, uh... No, it's the second-to-last Babylon level. It's the level before Tower of Babel. And it's, like, a huge, wide-open space... Though, you could say that that fight could be negated by the fact that the second encounter is literally sniper rifle spam. 
so that's deduction in points because of the way the game is set up. But I still think that fight is a really well-made fight. Or you know what I'm talking about? The one that's like at the end of the, uh, the level? At, at, at the end of the level before uh, Terror Babel? Yeah. Like, I think that's a really good fight. It's just that, you know, Crow Team decided that the second counter should just be a uh, snipe rifle spam. So, I mean, that's not really a, a, a deduction on that fight's, like, how it's set up. It's just a deduction to the second encounter as a whole. Like, this fight right here could have actually had some wearables. I think adding some wearables to this fight could have, you know, <laughs> made it nicer. Could have, uh, jazzed it up a bit. Shit, man, throw in some spiders. Throw the spiders in here, why not? Whoops. Oh hell, where's it pathfinding? What's that clear doing? It's just stuck around the... It's not pathfinding at all, it's stuck around the uh, corner. The adult scorpion got to the other side of the map? I don't think I've ever seen that before. I didn't even know it could do such a thing. Ow. Take cover. Man clears. Man, look at that recovery time on the clears. Remember when uh, Fusion had a bug that let enemies literally teleport to your location? Oh wait, that one's still in the game. Oh, that oh that one never got patched out. No, yeah, I got you. Oh, have you never seen that happen? Uh, so, 
let's say there's an enemy right there, just it, literally any enemy, there's a glitch that the enemy can literally teleport to your location. So if you're walking away from it, it will constantly teleport to your location. And it can happen to literally any enemy. So if it's an enemy like a biomech, you're pretty much like instantly fucked. Yeah, I, I saw that happen just the other day. Because uh, a friend of mine was uh, playing Fusion, and it happened to him. It doesn't come up that often, but yeah, it is a actual glitch. I think it's happened to me on stream. I don't know. I mean, it is rare. It is a rare glitch, but it is something that I've seen. And other people that talk about Serious Sam Fusion bring it up from time to time. When they're talking about how uh, Crow Team is a uh, piece of shit and completely abandon their projects. And Crow Team will say some fucking... They will literally lie to your face and say, Oh, well, Fusion was never meant to be a finished product. It was always a beta, so we have no, you know, obligation to it. But also, by the way, we're going to port Fusion over to every modern console. Are those finished products, Crow Team, or are all those fucking betas as well? I'm sorry, are those still betas? If you buy Serious Sam on your new Xbox or whatever? That's still just a beta? Oh shit. How anyone, how a single person could be a fan of Crow Team still is absurd. But gamers are trash and deserve to be treated as trash, so. Gamers are the most consumer of all consumer markets. Gamers above any other medium are the most, I must consume! Oh, hey, subscribe to I hear it clear. Oh, shit. You die, please. Ah, oh, man, bro. As it should be. I'll say, hey, Anna. How's it going? Everything's very flat. Yeah. Oh shit, where is he?
<laughs> yeah, you say that, but updated in what way? Performance-wise, I can see that. Yikes. Yeah, optimizations, yeah. Alright. Ow, fucking clear, bitch. Because, yeah, even though this game looks ugly, the frame rate has never been shitty. Like, the frame, the frame rate has never really dropped at all. I get my secret. God, everything looks so flat, though. There's like absolutely zero shadows. That, well, does this look better or the same as uh, as uh, Milan plays Serious Sam 3? Man, so Milan must have... Uh, Milan must have really, uh, if he could get, you know, Serious Sam 3 on the PS3, so he could play the original game without, uh, terrible performance, he would have really liked it. View models. <laughs> the view models really tank the performance. I see a lot of people play first-person shooters without view bobbing. I really don't like how that looks. Because it makes it look like your character's a robot. It makes it look like you're not walking. It makes it look like you're, uh, you're just like a robot on wheels. <laughs> I'm a fan of view bobbing. It's a lot of Devastator ammo. I like it. <laughs> These little, uh, yeah. Instead of Sam turning on his flashlight, it just makes the entire world brighter. Like there's a nuclear explosion happening outside. Oh, I thought that was funny. Oh, I just scrapped that. Can I hit you from up here? From down here? Aw, oh, damn it.
Isn't that a lovely animation of the clear jumping down? Things undestructible, indestructible. Weird. Ah, uh, they got a witch bride, huh? Here in front of me. Ah. Are they wised up, huh? I think so. I think it's the same health. Not to my knowledge, at least. Really? Oh, fusion? Oh, I didn't even know that. That makes them like, well, I mean, it's not like they're a great enemy anyways, but still, it's like three rockets, it's like, what's the point? <laughs> Just like, delete them from the game at that point. There's a, there's a clear above me. Yeah, that that's like the witch bride was clearly supposed to be like like they wanted the arch vial to be in Syria Sam. But they just really uh, did not implement it very well. There's some lights floating over there. Yeah. 
<laughs> His big wires. Hey, obvious spark. Yeah, it makes uh it's called dynamic music. The music changes depending on where you are, obvious spark. That's that adds to why it's the best version of the game. Oh god, that look, looks so ugly. Anubis is online. It looks so bad. <laughs> Alright, beautiful. Head outside for extraction. Thanks. I could use a hot meal and a beer. <laughs> yeah, why why is there no fight? I still can't get over it. That they didn't have any fights in this entire game that's done with this location. Like, you could have come down here and it's like, oh no, Mentos monsters are trying to stop Sam from turning on the thing or whatever the fuck. Oh god, I'm inside the elevator. There's a clear running around up there I won't ever be able to kill. Unless... No, he won't come here. No, I guess not. Or mental would have destroyed the time lock. I knew you were somewhere down there. <laughs> I want to believe. Ah. I mean, I used to like, uh, I used to like the story. Oh shit, I could not fucking see that fucker. <laughs> At all. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen a clear here. <laughs> I've never seen a clear here before. Come back.
He's not coming back. Electricity. <laughs> Sam, please. I can't see shit. Turn on your flashlight. Wakey, wakey, motherfucker. All right, GG. Seriously bad. It's uh it's the uh Legend of the Beast. It was him, he was sitting in his throne and everything. Why could they just not put a normal fucking Kanam in that DLC? Like what the fuck is wrong with them? Where's the door at? <laughs> What am I, blind? Never before have I been lost in this area. Yeah, it, if you haven't played Legend of the Beast, then you haven't gotten the full first encounter experience. What am I, blind? What's happening right now? Oh, the door, it's right behind the chair. I thought it was to the side. But yeah, like, adding a Kanum to, uh, you know, classic Serious Sam could have been cool. But no, they had to make it, like, some retarded boss fight. Instead of just making it a Kanum, but in classic Serious Sam. Yeah, I mean, Legend of the Beast is literally, uh, cut content. And boy, does it feel like cut content. <laughs> the height? Literally the final level of Legend of the Beast, the height of Legend of the Beast is, hey, it's, uh, it's, uh, the Tower of Babel, but way shittier. No, it, <laughs> it doesn't look great no matter who streams it. Says it's funny, like, cannon. the game now gives you the cannon here, and it's like, I've barely used the Devastator. It's like, sad. It's like, I, I, I love you, BFE, but you really need, like, a difficulty rebalancing. Serious Sam 3 really needs a difficulty rebalancing. Like, this is when you should have got the Devastator. This fight is when you get the Devastator. I don't know. There's nothing, like, that difficult that warrants the Devastator up until, like, now. But this is when, uh, you get the cannon. <laughs> yeah. 
You may be big. Why is that guy shooting at me when he can't even see me? You may be big, but I am seriously bad. Oh, shit. Like, this doesn't even seem like this is made for the cannon. Like, you can, if if there was just a minigun ammo here, it's like, if there was minigun ammo here, it'd be like, this is just a minigun section. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Gotta hit that up and left on the D pad so I can whip out my, uh. Whip out the minigun. But, like, the Devastate, there isn't enough Biomex, is the thing. The cannon can one-shot Biomex, so there should be, like, more pressure from, like, bigger, like, higher tier enemies should be coming through. Like, there should be Kanums in this fight. I mean, don't you think there should be some Kanums? So, you know, you use the cannon on the Kanums? Oh yeah, maybe, I think later, in the next part, there's Kanums. But still, I mean, I'm just saying. There could have been a Kanum in that fight. At least one Kanum? You know, just one Kanum? Yeah, here's the secret area. It doesn't even, like, count as a secret, and there's nothing in it. There's even C4- I have why did Crow Team make this area? The crew, like, this whole area is strange. Yeah, this uses R1 to shoot. It does not use the triggers. Ah, uh, Kanum. Oh, look at that. He fucking dodged my shit. Uh. Oh, you idiot. You actually used your projectile attack? Now you're fucked. I got all my minigun ammo back. Oops. What the hell? <laughs> I can't destroy a... There you go. Takes long enough. Damn it. Fucking clear. Yeah, also, infinite- well, that's a good ch uh, good change that Fusion made, is that there's no infinite ammo boxes on serious difficulty.
Yo, bro, infinite ammo? Oh, shit. It's just like the... It just looks like uh, the backpacks from uh, the original encounters. They added more crates? More? What the hell? <laughs> what do you need more crates for? I mean, you already get infinite ammo crates. Oh shit, the big bad Kanums are here. What the hell, Link, are you linking? <laughs> it's like, is Serious Sam too difficult for anyone who even has to do... Like, serious, like, ammo management is not even, like, a problem in Serious Sam 3. Or, like, it's Serious Sam in general. It's not even a problem. What is this, Link? See you, chump. <laughs> what the hell? All right, well, thank you, Crack. <laughs> Whoops, don't. <laughs> yeah, I'll do a. Uh... For the inevitable Gex remasters. <laughs> Was there a how to play? Oh yeah, there is a how to play. Ah, kill bad guys, pick up weapons and ammo, and strafe to avoid enemies. Yeah, yeah, health and armor, press use to buttons, find secret areas for fun. Natrissa. Okay, there you go. That's how to play. You now know everything you need to know about Serious Sam. What? There's only- oh, okay, no. I was about to say, there's only one guy? It's like, no, the other guys are off to the side. Evil West kind of looked interesting, but it's made by the new Shadow Warrior guys, so I'm skeptical about it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, 
Well, I mean, the new Shadow Warrior games have not been very good. Like, even, even if you liked the original Shadow Warrior reboot game, like, Shadow Warrior 2 and 3 have been really not good. Would you just come on already? Like, for crying out loud. Shadow Warrior 3 is the best one? Really? Maybe I'll pirate that. Babies! They didn't shoot me, what? Wow. Oh. oh man, there's another witch? Yeah, I forgot about that. I mean, there's always another witch here. I just forgot. Alright, where are you? If I'm in your sight, then attack me. Don't just teleport away. Okay, <laughs> did you watch, uh... I didn't watch the whole thing. I just watched, like, the first quarter of it. But, uh, Sirius Sackors, uh... Like, hour plus review of uh, Shadow Warrior, the Shadow Warrior review. Ultra, ultra wide. Now that is the biggest meme. The only reason why you would buy an ultra wide monitor is to complain about games that don't support ultra wide monitors. That's the true reason to get <laughs> to get one of those. I'm uh... He was talking a lot about, uh, the part where I remember, like, leaving off the video is he, he really went into, like, uh, the voice actor. He was talking about how the original voice actor didn't like the, the new voice actor. <laughs> and I was just like, dude, like, start with the actual game review of the game. Yeah, you could see it that way. Where it's like, I guess there's some kind of drama around Shadow Warrior. Even if it's just a tiny little thing. So we'll talk about that. Sam, there's a warship tearing up your area. Your extraction can't land now. Leave it to me. Sam, it's too big. You, you can't just... It's okay. We're old pals. How does Sam know that it's the same warship, hmm?
Well, it's funny, because the, the new voice actor is a uh, white guy as well. Stop the foreplay and get serious. Stop running around like that. Just come at me. Well, Asian actors can't catch a break in this industry. Oh, you little bastard. No, no, uh, my instinct was to use the zoom, but zooming is cheating. Using the sniper function is uh, cheating. Hey now. Switch to the minigun! <laughs> the fucking D-pad, diagonal D-pad to change to those weapons is such a piece of shit. There's nothing quite like, uh, uh, white people getting offended for other people. Yeah, like when it comes to Shadow Warriors racism. <laughs> if somebody's talking about how racist the original Shadow Warrior is, it's guaranteed a fucking white person. Nobody fucking gives a shit. Alright, Konami, you can get the cannon. This is getting too serious. Too serious, he says. Oh yeah, there is this. Ow. I forgot that they spawn a harpy here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Witch Pride, whatever they're called. Oh, 
Oh shit. I mean, you don't- you get all your weapons taken away from you after this level. So it's just like, go fucking full on the cannon. Did I really miss that shot? What the fuck? How did I miss that? That's- like- it, come on! Th that is ridiculous. <laughs> There's no war theme? Not in OG Serious Sam. That is- See, now that's a good improvement. <laughs> yeah, I'm too good. Too good at the game. But the thing is, is the cannon is not a secret weapon in this level. This is the level that literally gives you the cannon. And the cannon absolutely obliterates this boss. So, I don't know what Crow Team was thinking. Get away from me. This is the OG Xbox port of Serious Sam 3. Bully that motherfucker. Tell me how my planet tastes. Like that the thing is is I think that the worship could have been cool. Like the worship I think is a good idea, but sadly like other things, it's uh, executed poorly. I figured these guys were a little rough for you, so I went ahead and cleared you an LZ. This ain't Hellfire, but I do look pretty good in heels. Save the fashion show. Just get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Next, you'll hear that, uh... The Xbox port of Half-Life 2 is what Episode 2 is based on. But no, I do want to play the OG Xbox port of Half-Life 2. But the thing is, is my... The fucking... What I was using for the video, or my, my video wire, whatever you want to call it, for my OG Xbox is, like, dead. Like, the vi the video that it puts out looks like absolute dog shit now. So I have to get a new one. Wilson, I think I killed half the known universe back there. Just be glad you're headed home. Team Charlie's just getting started. I never saw nothing like this shit before, man. I used to hate milk runs, but right now, I'm happy to just be taking you back to base. Ain't no such thing as a milk run out here. Whatever you say, man, this is nothing compared to- Walkers! Yeah, freaking walkers! And technopolyps and scrap jokes! No, walkers! What the- Warning. Warning. How come Biomex and cutscenes are such good shots? Look at that Biomech leading that rocket. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, I got Sam. I can't look at my shoes in, but I had my classic you, sneakers on. Stone. Wilson's chopper is down. Repeat. We are down. I need extraction. I didn't have a... Uh, Sam in. wasn't wearing his little boots. His boots. Fan fucking tastic. I guess I won't be talking to them for a while. All right, now where's that secret at down there? Oh yeah, damn it. I don't think I can uh, play through this whole level.
I don't got the time. Uh oh. What? Oh shit, it's behind this. Wait, where is it? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, it's over there. I overshot it. But yeah, I gotta leave. So I can't go on for too long. Yo, Melee. Melee. Yeah. Maybe I should, yeah, just call it. Yeah, but see, we still need to finish these three levels. And then we have to do fucking uh, Jewel of the Nile. Hey, look at that. This port is jam-packed with content. You get all of the Serious Sam 3 content. They even throw the, they even throw the demo in here. <laughs> you get the demo and the DLC. Jam-packed with content. Just another, <laughs> just another throwback to uh, the older uh, Serious Sam games. Wow, it's paying respects to what came before. Yeah, you get no map editor. It's not like people use. It's not like a lot of people use the the map editor for good. Like that one mod, there there was like a, there's a Serious Sam 3 mod that took place in Russia. Which is like, that's the only mod I've ever played of Serious Sam 3 that actually like looked good. Okay. Yeah, Red Day. That's what it was called. But, like, that's the only mod that I played where it's just like, wow, they, they've they actually used the editor to make something that doesn't look like garbage. <laughs> like, they actually used the Serious Sam editor to make, like, something that actually resembles a real, uh, like, a real map. Oh, the guy that worked on Red Day actually worked on Siberian Mayhem? Well, I guess, uh... Shouldn't be that big of a surprise, I suppose. Since, uh... uh Siberian Mayhem was made by fans. And Red Day was, like, the highest quality mod for Serious Sam 3. So, uh, I guess it's no... No surprise he got a job for Siberian Mayhem. Which, <laughs> I still, I will not play it. I will stand by my convention, my convictions. And, uh, still hold true to, uh, boycotting protein. So I refuse to play it. Even if it's better than Serious Sam 4, I don't care. Is that a mod? I mean, is uh, France 
some serious Sam France thing. Unreleased, oh, that's a shame. I always, th I still think it's funny, uh, whenever you go to, uh, the, uh, Serious Sam Fusion Workshop, whenever you go to most subscribed, and the most subscribed content is that Duke Nukem mod. Yeah, I just think it's funny that it's, uh, that the most subscribed thing on the workshop is something that's not Serious Sam. What the fuck? Yeah, that looks fucking way... That looks like... <laughs> what the hell? That looks way better than anything in Serious Sam 4. Like, just looking at the water. Like, the water... Looks so much better than fucking Crow Team themselves. The devs of the engine couldn't make anything, like, half as good-looking as this. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> it's sad to see that. Yeah, oh well. It's sad to see uh, what could have been. Oh yeah, now I'm looking at his France thing. God, man, Serious Sam 4 was so dog shit. Fucking looking at this. Or I'm showing this to uh, other people. It's not... <laughs> That's not you, Lenon, of course. But uh, just like the visual there, and it's just like, hey, look, it's War Torn. It's actually War Torn instead of like the majority of Serious Sam 4 looking like no war is taking place. It's just like, oh, how do we make it look like uh, something bad happened? Oh, uh, just leave some like cars out in the road. Oh, uh, there's cars out in the road. You know, so you know bad stuff is happening. Fucking hell. <laughs> that was like, what, 10 years? People waited 10 years for Serious Sam 4, and that's what they get. Okay, alright. Alright, well, thanks for everyone for stopping by, hanging out. Uh, see you next time. All right, later.